The Williston School District is no more after it merged into the Williston Basin District, but its finances have been under scrutiny for years. And the state auditor has issued a report detailing several issues prior to the reorganization. Michael Anthony joins us now with more. Michael? Alan, this report has been a long time coming for petitioners who say they felt the Williston Public School District number one hasn't been transparent with their financial information. According to State Auditor Josh Gallion, those concerns were justified. In the 96-page report, Gallion highlighted 21 areas of concern for the 2020-21 school year. Some of those issues include having $377 million in unsupported adjusted journal entries, $6 million in debt not included to financial statements, inaccurate bank reconciliations, and having a budget that was not prepared in compliance with state law. Don Hollingsworth, one of the lead petitioners, said this audit was necessary. We were called liars. We were called all kinds of things. And here now we're looking at this and just in the bullet points, you know, we're close to a half a billion dollars in questions. That's not easy to swallow. Business manager Jody Germanson and Superintendent Jeff Fake were in charge of District 1 during the 2020-21 school year. Neither of them are currently employed in District 7. Current Superintendent Richard Fadley called the report extremely concerning but promises those issues will remain in the past. To the community, I am committed to fixing all of the audit violations that occurred in the past so that they do not happen in the future. The auditor's office will be presenting their findings to the school board on February 6th during their regular meeting. Now, this report is just the beginning in the office's dive into the district's financials. Hollingsworth says the people petitioned for a sco full scope investigation into the district's financials, meaning a look at the first year of District 7's financials may be coming up next. We'll send it back to you in the studio in the, at the District 7 business office. I'm Michael Anthony reporting for, for your news leader.